all the stuff. Okay, so Barton Stanley. Okay, grab your long bands, guys. I'm gonna just do a gentle warm up to begin. Okay, so if you want to double them over, you can for the first one, just so they're not annoying you. And bring them up over your head, so wide with the arms, and bring your feet just shoulder width apart or slightly wider, shoulder or hip width apart or slightly wider. Okay, I'm gonna take a breath in. I want you to tuck the pelvis gently and then move to your right side. Leaning toward the right side of the bit. Okay, if you pop the camera, it just means I'm letting somebody in. Okay, yes. and then back up to center, and then coming to the left side. Slowly, guys. Yes, remember the body is very cold, so just give it a chance to warm up. Back to center, and then moving to the opposite side. So don't force it. Just kind of feel what's happening when you do this move, where you feel you're tight. And just hold it there and breathe into it for a second. And then moving. Okay. And you can pull gently on the, when you're moving to the right side of the room, just gently pull with the right hand on the band. Just pull you down a little bit further if you feel you're able. Okay. And then pulling on the left side to pull you back up. And then moving over to the left. Gently pushing the hips out to the right. Inhale back to center. And then moving back to the right. Okay. Lovely. Back up to center. And then moving to the left. Give me two more, one on either side. Inhale to center. Keep the pelvis tucked. Draw the belly button fine. And then reaching to the right side. Feel a nice stretch along your lap. Inhale back to center. And one more. Okay, from there, guys, just relax the arms over your side, shake them out, relax your neck out if you need to, and release the band fully. Okay, and I want you to go wide, so have resistance on the band, but kind of go nice and wide. So I want your the full length of your arms and then extend out and a little bit of resistance on the band. Okay, you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so we're going to inhale to bring the band up overhead, and then exhale if you can bring it back behind you. If you can go all the way back, do okay. And then bring it all the way back forward in front of your thigh. If you're quite restricted in your shoulders, just bring it to kind of about there and then bring it back down, okay? Very good. Hello, Michelle and Alba. Welcome to the So we're just grabbing the band. We're going to inhale, as I said, for anyone that's just arrived. Inhale and then exhale all the way to the back. If you can bring the arms all the way back, find that too. If you're too restricted in the shoulders, just go to as far as you feel comfortable. Get a lovely stretch and open up the pecs and then bring it back down in front of your thighs, okay? Inhale, go one deep breath all the way back, actually. And then all the way forward. Okay, inhale. And gently pull on the bands as you're bringing those arms back and forward. You see a nice little pull either side of the band. Okay, opening up the chest. Lovely. Just four more. This is a really good one for anyone that has some old shoulder injuries, just to get some mobility back in around the joint. And for those that would be going to the gym as a kind of a warm up exercise for anyone that's working their chest or their back. Okay, lovely stuff. Okay, so coming back uh, with the bands, keep them singular, so don't double them over, and keep the hands about shoulder width apart. From there, we're gonna lunge into the right side, dip down, stick the bum away, I want you to pull on the bands, open up, and then bring them forward, okay? We're gonna stay on this right side, lunge to one side, and then pull, bring it back. Last warm up exercise. Okay. The early mornings are a little bit harder on the body, I suppose, because it's just open up. Unless you have a small child, keeping you awake, that's mine this morning. Okay. Um, Good, give me four more. The arms should start to feel a little bit warmed up at this stage. Three. Good. Very impressed with the numbers showing up so early. Well done. Last one. And do let me know what you prefer. If you prefer the half 11 or the 8 a.m. actually would be a good idea. Just put it up on the group today if you can. And lunging to the other side. 
just get comfortable. Make sure you're in the correct alignment. Make sure the knee is pointing towards the toes. And then open. And as I always say, you will fall back into that position naturally. Good. Really push in, sit into that heel of your foot so you get a nice traction of the glute. Two more. One more. Back to your arms, should be feeling it right now, okay? So from there, guys, let's get cracking, okay? Hope you're feeling if you're some way warmed up, okay? So we're going to start with a plie squat. So what I want you to do is bring your legs slightly wide, toes pointing outwards, like a kind of a sumo squat for those that know the gym. From there, guys, we're going to inhale, bring the bands up overhead, come down to squat, and bring the bands down. We're going to keep the arms in the air. And as you come down, the arms go wide. Band is behind your head. Okay? It's like a ballerina. They look so graceful right there. Well done. Fine. Feel what's happening with your knees. Do they want to pull inward? And make a conscious effort as you come up, slowly clench the glutes, starting right from the bottom. Squeeze, 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 all the way up. So just a little contraction yourself as you get to the bottom with your bum. Conscious effort, and to squeeze the glutes. Good. Go. I'm going to go for five more. Give me one more. Okay. Hold it here. Okay. Keep the band in around the shoulder base. Arms are wide. Hold the squat. We're going to circle the arms. Okay. Keep the knees out. Circle, 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 circle. You know to check you. No slackers this morning. Lovely. Get down to that squat. Come on. Go wider with your legs, Claire Brennan. You are keen, sorry. <laughs> that's it. Lovely. Opposite way with the arms. No dipping at the back. Come on, Alva. That's it. Lovely. So circle the arms. Circle the arms. You're not pulsing. You're just holding the squat and circle the arms. Arms at shoulder height, please. Come on. Up, up with the arms. Good. There we go, Alva. Good stuff. For three, two, one. This is what I checked with the, <laughs> the video footage. Okay. So from there, guys, we'll go easy on the legs for the next one. Want the feet standing on the band, all right? And then I'm going to come sideways. Want the elbows locked in nice and tight against your side. And we're going to go for tricep extensions, okay? So if you're skiing, okay? But keep the hips. Hips bent, knees bent, soften the knees, not too dead, not too low into a squat position, just a gentle softening of the knees. Lock out the elbows, keep them in tight, and then extend, okay? Hold it as you extend out. Hold for two, one, bring it in. Extend, two, one, bring it in. Good. Straight arms, otherwise you're not getting this tricep. Locking out those elbows. Don't care how far your arms go back, just so long as that arm is straight. Breathing. Well done. Remember this class is only half an hour, so I want you to try and stay focused, even if you're feeling it a little bit, get over yourself <laughs> and push through it, okay? We're only early in the class, so stay with me. Okay, hold the arms out, I'm pulsing for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Okay, coming back into a squat position, so nice and wide again with the feet. Okay, bring the band slightly wider than shoulders. Hands are facing down, so you're feeding the band in through the big finger and the index finger and out through the baby end. Wider feet, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes. Down to your deep squat. You should feel a little bit looser already. We're going to go wide here. Okay, pull. And then as you come up, bring the band down to your thighs. Push through with the arms. Okay, so I'll come side standing for the next one. 
Okay, so we're gonna go wide. Sorry, pull the band as you go into the squat position. Sorry, pull. And as you come up, bring the band down and push back. Okay, so we're getting triceps again. Chest and triceps. Okay, so we'll do it together. Down, pull. We're starting now, guys. Push back. Down, pull, forward, down, push. Okay? Down, band, chest height, pull away, bring the band back. Down, tuck onto your thighs, and pull back. Tricep. Good. Pick up the pace a little bit, guys. Once you get your rhythm. And as you stand, again, conscious effort to squeeze the bum, push the hips forward. Well done. Three more. Last two. One. Lovely stuff, okay. From there, guys, we're going to go into a side lunge position, okay? So we'll go on to the right side, and I generally work with one side first. So I prefer to do that because I think you lose your form in side lunges if you're going from left to right. So once you're in the side lunge position, a lot of chest today, pull on the bands, bring it back as you come up. Side lunge, pull, and back. Your arms are going to be a little tired after today. Okay, and if anyone's struggling with the upper body stuff, if you just want to work with your arms with no resistance, that's fine as well. If you're anyway sore, not because you're finding it tough, if you have an injury in your shoulder or your neck, and it's just too much, then just work with it. Okay, well done. Give me one more lovely stuff. Opposite side, please. Lunge down to that left side. Get into the position, knee in line with your toes, pull apart, bring it back. Just mind you don't twist your knee. Slow progression into that side lunge. Sit, pull apart as you lunge. You know my arms are feeling lit right now. I wish I could hear you all right now. <laughs> you like well done. Three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're coming down to the floor and bring your band to the top of the mat. Anyone that was in Thursday's class would have done one of the exercises. So we're going to be on the mat for the next three exercises. Yes. We're going to start with just a standard plank. Okay. So just the camera. So down onto your bellies, onto your knees, sorry, and uh, hook the toes, hands under the shoulders. Keep the bands there. You will use them. Third exercise into plank position, please. We're going to hold it nice long line, squeeze the glutes, push the heels away, push into the mat with your hands, draw the shoulder blades away, belly button's fine, breathing. Well done, nearly there. 10 seconds, squeeze the bum. Three, two, one. Bend your knees. We're going to press up 12 reps this week. Okay? So bring the knees away and drop the hips down towards the floor. Okay? Hands go wide. When you're ready, three, two, one, and go. Well done. Ten more. Eight. For six. Well done. Four, two, last one, one. Great stuff, back into plank position. I want you to bring the band in underneath your hands, okay? You might want to watch for this one, anyone that wasn't in class on Thursday. You're going to come into a plank. Just watch, for everyone watch for now, okay? You're going to pull on the band to the left. Bring the hand down, pull to the right. Anyone that finds that too difficult, just come down into the plank on the knees. And just do this. Okay, same action, but just doing it from the knees. Okay, so anyone with the weakness in their back, any injuries, don't commit to full plank. 
or if you're new to the class and you're still building strength. Three, two, one, and go. Alternating sides. Well done. For eight. Pulling on that band, really pulling. Nearly there. Give me one more. Come down onto your knees. We're coming back up to standing, please. Everyone okay? We're going to bring the band behind, behind us, around the lower, the where your shoulder blades are. Bring them to the lower part of the shoulder blade, in underneath the armpits. Okay, and I want you to feed the band in through the index and thumb and out the baby end. Okay, lovely. From there, guys, we're going to go down into a squat again, wide legs, a bit of resistance on the band, so not too fine to yourself. As you come down, you're going to push, bring the arms back, chest press, okay? Well done. We're going to use the smaller bands towards the end, class. I'm just finish with a bit of deeper glute activation stuff. I think you've enough going on. You don't need any more bands introduced right now. Same time. Well done. Four more. Three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Okay, from there, bring the band onto the floor. Okay, and you're going to step on it with your left foot. Okay, so my left foot, the ball, the ball of the foot is standing on the band. Make sure you've got even sides either, either side so they meet equally. Okay, and we're going to come into like a single leg. Deadly. So I want you to extend the other leg back and straight. No bend in the knee. Straight leg. Track the glute. Bend forward. Okay, soften the front knee. And literally pull your elbows back with the band. Rubbing the elbows against your sides. Holding. Three more. One more. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're going to swap sides, standing on it with the right foot, bring the left leg back. Soften the front knee. Okay, get the same resistance on either side. Then extend once you feel comfortable. Get balanced first, and we'll go on three, two, straight leg, one, and pull. Now come over and check you guys. Nine, eight, Seven, good. Six, straighter leg, uh, Brady Emer, good. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely stuff coming down. Everyone, all right? <laughs> good. Okay, guys. Next exercise. You can double the band over, actually. Okay, and hold it. I'm going to come into lunge position again. Okay, as you come up, I want you to, we did this last week, drive the knee up, bring the band down towards us so you're pushing into the band, activate the hip flexor. Lunge down, drive. Okay, ready, go, please, if you haven't started, for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Well done. Four. One more. Other side, please. Leg back, arms extended, and drive. Really push that band into the thigh, push the thigh into the band. All right, as if you're trying to knee something. Full force knee. <laughs> Done. Two more. 
One more. Lovely stuff. Okay. We're just going to go back onto the floor. Actually, bring your bands again. Same set as the last time. Okay. I'm going to go into plank and hold. Three, two, one, get up. Into position. Draw that belly button to the spine. Breathing. Holding. Lovely stuff. Push the heels away. Squeeze the bum. Shoulder blades away. Hold for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Gently come down. Into press up, guys. Okay. Please come on. We're nearly at the end. So whatever way you want to start, make sure you're doing them right, though, whatever it is. In our intermediate advance. Three, two, one, and go. 12 reps. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab your bands. We're doing those uh, planks with pulls, okay? So into plank position on knees or full. Three, two, one. Start with your right arm and pull. Lick it up. That's it. Four, five, six, well done, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down, and finish with more press-ups, and then you are onto your back, guys, grab your small bands after, ready, three, two, one, and go for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, Seven. All right. Well done. Three, two, one. Good stuff. Grab your bands, please. Small ones. Wrap them around your thighs. Okay. Finishing with some glutes and core. All right. Wrap the bands around, please. Okay, lying down at your back, pull the band slightly apart with your legs. Bring that camera down lower. Yeah, better. Okay. Okay, so pulling the bands apart. So bring them lower onto your thigh, so nearly towards the knee end rather than the pelvis end or mid thigh. From there, I want you to go up onto your tippy toes, and then we're going to lower the pelvis down and up. Staying up onto your toes, heels are lifted, drive up and down, nice and quick. Pushing up helps, squeeze the bum. Good, literally touching down with the pelvis and back up. You cramp them out of it, stretch the leg, and then just maybe stay on the flats of your feet. Some people are just prone to cramping when they shorten muscles. A matter of just getting stronger through that nervous system. Okay, getting used to it. Give me four more. Three more. Two. One. Lovely stuff. Imprint your lower back. Legs into tabletop position. Hands behind the head. Support the weight of your head if you want to use the band for this. You can wrap the band at the back of your head and hold it up like that if you're suffering with your neck. Okay? Hands behind the head, elbows back, and we're going to lower the feet down one at a time, alternating and pushing into the band with the other leg. Okay, so you're pushing away with one, pushing towards the band with the other. Staying in your sit up position, your head isn't rested. Lift the head up, lift it up, keep the imprint. If you find that going halfway is far enough for you, that's fine as well. If you find that just holding your legs in tabletop, is enough, that's fine too. Going for five more. Four, three, two, one. Hold the legs and tabletop, guys. Head up, obliques, rotate to the left, back to center. Not resting your head down and staying up, okay? With high intensity, not low intensity, come on. Rotating, 
head center and rotate. You'll be done in another five minutes. Keep going. Stay with me. Three, two, and one. Rotating head down, please, okay? Reach the arms back, legs in tabletop position. Your stomach should be burning right now. And we're reaching towards your outer shin. Sit up. Inhale to extend back. Keep the imprint in your lower back and reach. Lovely. Inhale, reach the arms back. We're reaching forward. If it's too much, put your feet on the floor. Keep working though. Keep reaching towards your knees if your feet are on the floor. Okay? Okay. If you're really struggling, please, I'd rather you did that rather than getting injured. Okay? We're reaching. Breathing as you extend. Exhale to reach. Make two more. One more. And relax the legs down. Lovely stuff. Woo! Okay, back into tabletop position. Bring the knees towards you. Lift the lower part of your body off the mat and then bring them back. Reverse curls. Good. Well done. This is just going to get the lower part of the stomach. Okay. Four more. Three more. Two more. And the last one. Lovely stuff. Place the feet down. Onto your sides quickly, left side. Okay. Nice straight line with the two legs and make sure your hips are stacked and shoulders are stacked. Place the top hand in front to support yourself. Lift and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it there. I want you to point your toes of the top leg towards the floor. So you're internally rotating the foot, okay? And then lower and lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, point the toes again and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just roll onto your belly, rest your head onto your hands, okay? Point the toes, I want you to lift the legs off the floor and then just pulse the legs up and down. Swim in the legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold out and in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll onto your opposite side, please, and we'll do the other side. And then you're done, guys. Okay. Straight line, press down, ready and lift and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Internally rotate the foot and lift and lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold the leg and pulse again for 10, 9. Feel how hard your core is working. Come on, you're doing great. Well done. And one, hold the leg there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower down. Back onto your front, guys. Okay, head resting onto your hands. Same again. Take a breath in and lifting the legs, squeeze the glutes and up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Come on, kicking those legs. 2, 1, hold the legs up, out and in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely. Well done, everyone. Good stretch, good exercise. Well done, and come into shell stretch, please.
breathe. Just relax. Work it over. Coming onto your stomach. You take the bands off in a minute. Just lie down for now. Okay. Bring the hands forward, elbows down. Take a breath in, eye line it down, and then pushing gently into the mat, extending through your chest, like your uh, back area, lifting it up. Open your chest towards the wall or the door in front of you, whatever you're looking at. And feel a nice little opening and stretch in the abdominal region, chest area. And you can use your hands to assist you. If you've any way to feel any pinching or soreness in the lower back, just come down a little bit. Rest your ribs onto the floor. Now, if you feel that your ribs aren't resting onto the floor and you're comfortable, that's fine. Some people are a little bit more mobile than others. Okay. Coming down as you breathe in, rest your head down. Squeeze the glutes, lock out the knees gently, and then coming back up. Lift your head, don't look down, open up the neck very well. Lengthen through the crown of your head, lift it up. Stuff and slowly come down with your ribs, and then your chest, and then your head. Okay, from there, guys, take your bands off. Okay. Lie onto your right side. So we're all understanding what I'm saying. You're going to grab your right knee, okay, with your right hand. The so right knee, grab it with your right hand. Grab your left ankle with your left hand. Now, before you start pulling that leg, I want you to round your, your spine. So come down as if you're going to kiss. The right knee that's on the ground okay so we're rounding forward now with the left hand i want you to pull on that leg and bring open it up so as if you're doing a quad stretch and you should feel a little bit you're rounded forward enough you should feel a great stretch on the upper thigh kind of hip flexor area really good one for the back but for anyone that's sitting in their job a really good one to do okay to prevent any back injury opening those hip flexors. This is the best hip flexor stretch. Well, there's another one you can do where you're putting your foot onto a chair, the back foot, but I think that's a bit severe for most people. So this is the next best thing. So rounding forward and then pulling the leg back. Now your knee should be in line with your hip. If it's any way forward, it means that you're extremely tight in the hip flexor. Okay, from there, just roll onto your back. We'll do the other side in a moment. Grab your long band. Stretch the hamstring. Okay. We're going to do this stretch and then the other do the other leg with the hamstring and the hip flexor, and then you're free to go. Okay, so stay with me if you can. Stretching is just as important as what you've just done. Okay. You want to walk your hands up further, try and pull a little bit deeper, and then rest your head down. Bend in the knee and then swap over. Pull your hamstring first. Make sure the band is secure. Hit you. Okay. Get comfortable first. Bring the toes down. And then again, walk the hands up if you can. Gentle pull on the band. And then the leg will come a little bit further and then release your head down. Release that out. Other side with the hip flexor. Okay. So we did the right lay on our right side the last time, so we're lying on the left. Okay. So grab your left knee with your left hand. I'll talk you through it again. I know when I try to do this with my clients, they're like, what the hell? Okay, so bring your head down and round the spine. So you want to kiss, imagine you're gonna go kiss that lower knee. Grab your ankle of the of the right ankle, <laughs> and then I want you to pull gently and open up that hip flexor on that right side. Okay, rounding forward. And again, you might feel less tight on one side. It's okay. 
but your knee should be in line with your hip. It shouldn't be higher or lower. Have it in line with the hip, and it should be going. Um, it should be in line with the hip going back as well, if you know what I mean. So it should be the same height as the hip, and then in line with the hip. Your knee should be in line. With the hip. Holding, and then release that out, guys. Just come into a seated position. Cross the legs if you can, and just push the knees away, and then just rounding forward, reach the hands forward. Just roll back into a seated position with your spine articulated fine. Inhale to reach the hands up towards the ceiling, go wide, reach them onto the floor, reaching forward. You might feel this in your hip area. Fine. Coming up one more, inhale, reaching, exhale, wide, and falling forward with your hands, release the head down, fold, and you are done. Well done, everybody. How was that? I hope you all enjoyed. You can um, 